Yes, and I agree. Kason mentioned this. You are challenging Ron DeSantis directly, which I love because, but through like, just restating that we should learn history. The, the African American History Act, yeah. it's, a, it's a response then. What does it do? What do you hope it ensures that, I don't know, that our kids learn? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I feel sorry for the kids in Florida. Oh my God! Um, I, I really do. The humidity I, and Ron DeSantis. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for the teachers. I feel sorry for the families. I feel sorry for what they have to go through. Yeah. Um, and again, people are struggling financially, so they can't just get up and leave. Right. Um, but what I'm trying to just communicate is the power of knowledge. Yeah. Uh, and the power of reading books of authors that you may not even agree with. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that helped me to become the best teacher I could be before I began the Congress is just being a learner first. Mm -hmm. Being driven by curiosity and learning about the world and how it works. And you know, as African American, you're kind of forced to learn about white man's history all the time. Yeah. So we know that. But once you start learning about yourself, you're like, holy shit, my people did this. My people build nations and democracies and infrastructure society before the Europeans came to colonize us. Right. And when you learn that, you feel empowered in a way that's on a whole nother level and you can no longer be impacted by white supremacy. DeSantis knows this. Yeah. And he's trying to take that away the same way Trump is trying to take that away. The same way Majority Taylor Green, crazy ass, uh, is trying to, you know, we need to secede. You know, blue states from red states. I mean, this is what I'm dealing with in Washington. I know. It's, it's, well, see, <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I would die, literally. It, she's every real housewife combined without half the knowledge of the like, books she's read. Anyway, I, she doesn't look. I, I don't want to say this. Oh, she, just, she looks like she's not from here. No. Like, she looks like she's from somewhere else. No, she's not like, from here. Oh, she's another from, planet or She's something. from a different time, a different galaxy. Yeah. I don't know. She's a demon from the underworld. Beez above, baby. Demon. That's the word. You? you and I don't hate to say that, but yo. Wait, but then, like, wait. you look at her, like, yo, where are you from? Yes. Wait, I got You posted this video basically directly challenging them, and I got to show it because when I saw it, I was like, this is who I want in Congress defending democracy. Oh, Jackson, can we show the video? Oh yeah, fighting destroy fascism. Here we go. Okay, did Matt Gates shit his pants when he saw this? Come on, you benching? This is great. I mean, any of all I mean, come on. You posted that. I'm sure you get looks in the halls of Congress. Oh shit, here it comes. First of all, thank you for appreciating. Uh, that does a lot for my ego. I appreciate it. Hey, um, you ever bench like that? Yo, but you know what's crazy? Um, you're right. Like when I went back to Washington, yeah. people was like, "Yo, that's a great video." You <laughs> like random people, like journalists, yeah. random people Love in it. the hall. They're like, "Yo, that video. What was that? 3:45?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yes, it was. I have, and I have more for you. So stay tuned." Hey, like, keep, I mean, uh, you're not seeing Mitch McConnell bench that. No, we're not. Wait. We're not. Also, I gotta ask you. Yes. The 14 votes for the speakership. Holy, the most dysfunctional reality show on TV, and I'm including Milf Manor on that yeah. list. <laughs> you, I, again, let's show this. Picture. You post, you look, you and your friends, you you have a great time during it. What was the dynamic like between Democrats and Republicans during that time? Uh, damn, how do I describe it? So there are moments when I'm in Washington where I feel like I'm in the Spielberg movie. Uh huh. That was one of them. Jurassic Park? Yeah, yes, yeah, Jurassic Park. But yeah, it was, um, they are incredible, they're dysfunctional. Yeah. Like they're, they're just, they're dysfunctional, they don't have their stuff together, and Again, like I feel sorry for, because people already think we're a clown show. Yeah. And, and there are many people who don't vote and aren't into politics and yeah. don't care about it. And then when they turn on the TV and they see that, they're like, what the? And, and this that, is why I can't pay my bills right. and feed my children, and, right? And they may cause us going to debt by not paying, not raising the debt ceiling, right? It's, yeah. it's nuts. Yeah. Even though Donald Trump, 25% of the debt came from him. Well, again, like, so, First of all, the debt ceiling, we should get rid of the debt ceiling because it, sh it shouldn't even exist. Um, the other thing is, like, this is going to sound weird, but money's not real. <laughs> so it doesn't exist. Can I tell that? Can I, can I, can I tell that? <laughs> it's, just, it's just a system that was created to keep us in a place where we're trading labor for, for money. Right. The, the, the question is, uh, do we have resources 
do we have people ready to work? If we have those two things, let's just put people to work to do things. Right. We don't. The money is just a fake thing. It's just another way to keep things unequal in our society. So, and Republicans are not really about governing, and, and no disrespect to Republicans, Republicans in Congress, yes. not really about governing. Um, they're about the show, they're about the theater. So they wanna make it seem like, to your point, they're fiscally responsible, but when you look over the last several decades, Republican presidents have left the presidency, have left the nation in more yes. than Democratic presidents. I know, yeah. So. Okay, just a quick one more, then. Rapid by George Santos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how much side are you giving him? Yeah, he's off the chain, man. I, mean, I, 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 I can't. Like, is he's like one another example of like I can't believe it. Like, there are many things that happen there that I'm like, yo, I can't, what the hell is happening? Yeah. He's one of them. Like, I can't believe it. Gay men love their being dramatic. I can't believe you got it. Man. So Democrats no longer have the control of Congress, but two years. I mean. Record investment in infrastructure and healthcare. Yes, yes, Cl yes. The biggest climate change bill in history. Yes. Huge achievements. For the record, progressives are the ones to yes. Biden's plan. Hundred percent. My sleep paralysis demons, Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin, are the ones that sign it. Correct. We Democrats have accomplished a great deal, but there's more to do. How do we run on this? Run on our accomplishments. It's all say, you know. We also, you know, there's more for us. We didn't get all the way there. Yeah, yeah. So now it's about implementation. So we pass these bills. The money is flowing. How are we implementing it in a way that makes life better for people? Right, like climate, uh, physical infrastructure, safer communities, and mental health. The Chips Act. How are we creating jobs, making life better for people? So implementation is going to be key. Yeah. But the other part of that is how we communicate. Yes. Uh, with the American people, not just about what we've done, but a vision for the future. Right. And what, one of my criticisms of President Biden and the party is they're not creating a historic vision for the future that galvanizes people. Right. If you look throughout history, what has changed this country has been mass movements from regular people forcing politicians to do the right thing. Yeah. Abolition, women's suffrage, gay, uh, gay rights, civil rights. It's always been movements we need another movement right now to make transformational change, change historically in this country. Yeah, yeah. because, well, yes, thank you. It's, it's, we can be real with the American people, but offer them a vision because we need we need big majorities. We, we saw with yes. a slim majority what happens. Um, Congressman Bowman, before you leave, I wanted to do a quick game that I put okay. on my guests. It's cool. called Issues with a Twist. We're gonna pull <laughs> this martini glass full of really important issues. And in, in, in a minute, we're gonna go back and forth and we're gonna quickly go through why this issue like matters so much, why they all should care about it. Okay, okay you ready? Yes. Let's roll the clock. Okay. Oh, well, let's start over. Okay, because five seconds out, I'll get it. One second. How are we doing? There we go, okay, I'll go. Okay, Marjorie Taylor Greene's white fur coat. Oh my God, what are you, Corella DeVille? Get over yourself, you are disgusting. Okay, go. Oh, my turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, TikTok impacting our attention spans. Uh, yes. <laughs> Helicopter parents. I wish I had one, I would have been famous sooner. Right. <laughs> Strangers offering unsolicited help while you parallel park. That's weird. <laughs> Wearing a backpack in a crowded subway car. Uh, yeah, that's domestic terrorism. <laughs> Four day work weeks. Hell yes! Hell yes! Oh, yes. Hell yes. That's okay. Favorite Star Wars for the original trilogy? Okay, okay, mine's uh, I want that one. Okay. Alright, hold on, wait. <laughs> Favorite Star Wars from the original trilogy? Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, really? Yeah. I return to the Jedi. Why? Because I love the Emperor. <laughs> when he gets off his ship and he goes, nice. I love, I don't know, I, I love democracy, but I love that he turned the republic into an empire. Sorry. That was a minute. Shit. Okay, we'll go a little bit. You know, do, one, one, do, one, yeah. do one more, do one more. Okay. You do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, espresso martinez being a drink of the year. That's no. some bougie. Okay, this one. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little bougie, it's okay. Yankees or Mets or neither. Damn. Hey, you want one more? You're right. Fuck. <laughs> Yankees. Yankees. 